Welcome to Pitt County's virtual public meeting to review and comment on the draft Pitt County Comprehensive Transportation Plan. I'm Phil Gary with NCDOT's Transportation Planning Division, and thank you for taking time out of your day to help us. We hope you'll find today's meeting informative, and we encourage you to share your comments, questions, and suggestions. Info on how to provide your feedback will be at the end of the presentation, and your input is valuable as we finalize this plan for your community. Today we'll go over the who, what, when, where, and how regarding Pitt County's comprehensive transportation plan. Known as the CTP, a comprehensive transportation plan is developed through a process that involves every city and county working together with the state to draft a long range plan for transportation projects. Key partners also include the metropolitan and rural planning organizations. This data-driven plan is a vision for projects that will address transportation needs through the year 2045. It covers every mode of travel, and your plan could help your community secure funding for future projects. Please remember, we are developing concepts and possible solutions. These are not detailed plans nor designs and would not be incorporated into the comprehensive transportation plan without local approval. So why does Pitt County need a CTP? The first reason is that it's state law, General Statute 136-66.2. A more important reason though is that a CTP is the first step in developing transportation solutions for Pitt County. When completed, the CTP must be mutually approved locally and by NCDOT, creating a common long range vision. The CTP then is followed by years and sometimes decades of competition for transportation funding. After the funding of a particular recommendation like the widening of a road, it will go through the environmental impact process. Since conditions are constantly changing, this process will ultimately determine final design details. The CTP provides guidance during the project development process and ensures local priorities are at the forefront of design considerations. For the past two years, members of the CTP steering committee, including staff from Pitt County and its municipalities, the Mideast Rural Planning Organization, Greenville Metropolitan Planning Organization, and many other interested parties have been working with the North Carolina Department of Transportation to develop this important document. And now we are in the final stages, coming to you all for feedback before completing the plan and asking for adoption. So how do we look into the future? One of the tools we use is called a travel demand model, which is a computerized simulation of all significant roadways within the county. The Pitt County model was developed to help predict future problem areas, and this led to recommendations to fix them. It estimates 2045 travel demand based on current trends, travel patterns, population, and employment where people live, how they get to work, where their children go to school, where they shop, and how they travel throughout the county creates a distinct pattern for how traffic flows across the county's roadway system. Overall, the CTP proposes 245 recommendations for highway, bike, and pedestrian projects. The highway mode is broken into two maps. The first highway map you see here highlights the facility classification and control of access projected for each study road in the year 2045. The second one called the highway recommendations map shows the location of funded projects and future year proposals, as well as how each proposal addresses one of the following four needs, congestion and mobility, access management and operations, modernization, or other issues such as improving safety or resilience to flooding. Together, these two maps will show future recommendations, highway purpose, type of access, and even whether the road should have a median. And here are just a couple of examples for the highway map. Uh, here you see highway recommendation number 26. So for this example, it's NC 43 from Worthington Road to the Craven County line. It's an, about an 11 mile project 
recommending widening to a four-lane median divided facility to improve the safety and increase capacity of the road. Here's another example, um, recommendation number 82, the Greenville East Bypass to alleviate congestion in the MPO area. It's recommended to construct a bypass east of Greenville that you see in the red dotted line surrounding Greenville. And here you see the existing conditions for the public transportation and rail map. The legend is shown here for reference for the existing public transportation and rail in blue and purple. Finally, the bicycle and pedestrian map illustrates where existing and proposed bicycle and pedestrian facilities are located. And here are just some of the insets as well. Here's an example of a bike recommendation. Number two, Old River Road from NC33 to US 264 in yellow. We would like to recommend adding bicycle lanes for an example there. Here's an example of a sidewalk recommendation, filling in the gaps in Winterville, recommendation number 71 in purple. And finally, a multi-use path example, number 79, an East Coast Greenway connector from the county boundary to Greenville Boulevard. All of these together will help make planning, better planning decisions for Pitt County. So what are we gonna do next? We'll be holding two public drop-in sessions, the first on Monday, November 14th at Pitt County Community Schools and Recreation. That's located at 4561 County Home Road in Greenville, and it'll be from 5 to 7 p.m. The second meeting will take place on Thursday, November 17th at North Pitt High School's cafeteria, and that is at 5659 NC11 in Bethel. That'll also be from 5 to 7. There will be no formal presentation, but the public can attend at any time. After that, we'll, co we'll carefully consider all comments received and finalize the plan for adoption. We hope you'll find that this draft plan clearly illustrates your community's long-range vision for transportation. If not, your feedback is important to us. One of the most important purposes of today's meeting is to hear your thoughts on these comments or suggest some of your own. Please contact me at pagary at ncdot.gov or 919-707-0930 with any feedback. However, there will be a survey presentation CTP details and ways to submit comments at tinyurl.com slash pitctp. We ask you please provide your feedback by the end of the year, December 31st, 2022. Thanks for watching and thank you very much for participating in Pitt County's transportation planning process.